For the first time, we're hearing the officer's side in the death of Mario Gonzalez. This comes as we're learning of five separate investigations into what happened. Mario Gonzalez's family has hired an attorney. The attorney representing the three officers is also investigating. The city of Alameda has hired an outside agency to investigate. And uh, the Alameda County DA and the Alameda Sheriff's Office uh, they've also launched separate investigations. We begin with Crown Force Teresa Stasio live for us in Alameda after talking with those officers' attorney, Teresa. Well, as you're mentioning, this is the first time that we are hearing the officer side in this incident where Mario Gonzalez died. The family has come out and said that their 26 year old brother, well, he died and he was murdered. However, that is not what the attorney representing the officers say. I spoke with her and this is what she had to say. In your estimate as their attorney, did the officers murder Mario Gonzalez? Absolutely not. Allison Barry Wilkinson represents James Fisher, Eric McKinley, and Cameron Leahy, the three officers shown in this body-worn camera video who responded to the call of a mumbling and intoxicated individual early Monday morning on April 19th. That person now known as 26-year-old Mario Gonzalez. Five separate investigations are now underway to determine what happened that caused Gonzalez to die while he was in police custody. The body worn cameras reveal how hard the officers worked to try to calmly bring Mr. Gonzalez into a safe situation. Uh, they tried for three full minutes to handcuff him while standing up. They did not want to have to take him to the ground. And it was the intensity of Mr. Gonzalez's uh, refusal to uh, be helped as along with his strength. Barry Wilkinson says Gonzalez was a large person for the officers to get into custody. He is estimated uh, by the officers uh, to be about five foot five, but weighing uh, 250 to 300 pounds. Gonzalez's family has said Gonzalez had a knee to his back by the officers, and that caused him to stop breathing and die. Barry Wilkinson says the video shows differently. A, a close examination of the video reveals that they actually have their body weight back on their heels or on the balls of their feet, such that really, in essence, they're bracing Mr. Gonzalez. And it was almost like a light switch. It was something completely unexpected uh, that happened when he suddenly went into uh, his medical emergency, which we don't know what it was, whether it was cardiac arrest. Barry Wilkinson says all three officers are on administrative leave pending the outcome of the multiple investigations. They are heartbroken. They were there to help Mr. Gonzalez. Behind me, you can see the growing memorial for Mario Gonzalez is right behind me. They had a large vigil out here last Wednesday, and we've reached out to the family again to get their thoughts on what the attorney had to say, and we're going to have more on that coming up. Reporting live here in Alameda, Teresa Stasio, back to you guys.